Okay, let's begin. So here we change the format around a little so everything is all in one place. Uh, so when you log into the site, this is what you'll see. Uh, you'll have your account here where you can change your shipping address, uh, building address, and change your password. We have order album, order design, accessories, and order history. Uh, let's go over order album first. So if you notice here, one of the biggest requests we got was order reference. Um, so here you can put your couple's name and this will follow your order all the way through. And this is also important for when you go to order history, you'll, you will be able to search by this name. Now down here, you will see our three different, three different products. We have our thick albums, thin album, and press printed album. Uh, we laid out the pricing and sizes this way so you can compare from each album what the pricing is and it makes it a lot easier for you to decide which album you're going to get. So right now I'm going to order the 10 by 10 thick album. Go next. Uh, next we have our select cover style. Uh, we have your full cover, spine with photo, and cameo cover. For this demo I'm going to choose the cameo cover and you notice here for thick albums we have an inset and a uh, window. It. So everything here is step-by-step -step ordering where you get previews. Uh, now you can select whether you want a square, vertical, or horizontal inset. We also have a sizing chart here so you can see exactly the dimensions on compared to what size album you chose. So here we have a drag and drop feature or if you can select your file this way also. I'm going to go ahead and use the drag and drop feature. As you see on the right, you can also see the requirements. So everything here is dynamic. Uh, depending on what album you choose, we give the minimum amount of size for your cover. Right here, you'll see that you'll get a live preview on what each leather will look like with your inset cover. We've added distressed leather to the line. So let's go ahead and go, go to next. And again, you have a choice here for uh, if you want imprinting or if you do not want imprinting. And it will show a preview on how it would look. Now, another request we got was to have the second line be smaller, so you can also do that here. And as you change each, you will see a preview on what it will look like. We also have here is the inside liner. For thick albums, you have a choice of upgrading your inside liner to be a different type of linen. And you also have the ability to do imprinting on the liner for thick albums. Again, you can also choose the color to see a 
preview of what it will look like. Go back. Hmm? Go ahead and go to the back. From the back one side. From there, uh, again, we have the choice of drag and drop images here or using the uploader. For this demo, I'm only going to do five spreads just to speed up the upload. And again, we also show the breadcrumbs up here on every step that you've chosen. So you can see uh, if you need to change something, you can always go back. Uh, we have the minimum requirements here that show depending on what type of album you chose. And it also shows some pricing. So right now, once the images are uploaded, it's going to start to generate a preview of those images or spreads. And the thing what's different about uh, ordering this way versus in rows is a lot of the times in rows we had issues where you would upload at the end and sometimes it would fail and we would never know about it till you actually contact us about it. Um, for this interface, we chose to have the upload be upload during the process, so you have to confirm that the images have been uploaded. Okay, so once you have your spreads uploaded, you can see here that you, if you made a mistake, you can delete them from here. And then on the next page, you will get to see the order in which they are in, just in case you need to make an adjustment. So you would change the order by simply moving it to the different spot. Uh, another thing, if you made a mistake, you can replace it. And you can also delete it by pressing this. Uh, one of the important things that we have to know is whether or not your design starts on the left or starts on the right. So we have that choice up here. For all of our albums, you do have the choice to, ch to start on a full panoramic, which uh, where your design will start on the left. Next, you'll get a preview of the flipbook with all of your choices that you've chosen to make sure that it is in the order that you would like. And at the end, uh, you'll be able to choose to add an additional copy. If you would like the same album in the exact same, in another size, you can do that here. <clears throat> if it's a sample, you can choose that here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we are also um, adding replica albums. So the replica albums is a thin album with a wraparound cover that mimics your cover choice. And it is at a discounted price. And you can choose those down here below. And from there, uh, you'll see an order summary of all your options. You can edit those, and it'll take you back. Choose your shipping, shipping address. Uh, if you have a promo code, you, you would apply that here. Go next. Payment information. And then you're done. Uh, you receive your order confirmation and you will receive an email with the same order information with a link that will bring you back to here. So this is the order that I just placed. When you click on your email detail order summary, you will see something like this. And what's good about this too is like if you can't tell what the couple is, you can always view the design. And it will bring you to the same flip book.
Now, another thing about the order history is you can see the status of your order. And if it's an album design order, you'll be able to go directly to your design through a link that will be here. So you won't have to search through your emails anymore, uh, looking for uh, what designs you need to continue or which ones are done. You'll have all that information right here. And you'll be able to search and it'll show up right there. Okay, that is for ordering albums. Uh, next, we'll go over ordering designs. It kind of follows the same format in which you will have to reference your order. You can say we have square, vertical, and horizontal designs. Uh, so this, this is new. Uh, currently, if you use our album design service, um, all we show is a black leather cover. Um, in this case, you'll be able to select what type of cover you would like. And you'll be able to see in the preview, instead of the black cover, you'll be able to see white. Um, if you want distressed, you'll be able to see that. You'll also be able to show imprinting, and this is just for the preview of the flipbook. So just know when you're ordering a design, everything you do is just to show the preview in the flipbook. Again, we need to know whether you'd like to start with a single page or panoramic page. And we also show uh, the different types of styles that you can order. If you want to see a little bit more on what that style looks like, you can actually click on the image and it'll give you a full flipbook preview of what a modern design looks like. Another thing we added down here is um, you, you'd be able to choose how many images you want to upload. And this is good because if you say 100 and only 90 upload, we'll, we'll be able to contact you and let you know that um, you've only uploaded 90 when you said 100. Um, we also put a number of pages here too, so you can see with 100 images uh, and you chose 20 pages, just your design would average around five images per page. So this is good to know if you don't want your pages to be too cluttered, or uh, you feel like you need more space, or you need to feel like you need to add more pages, uh, this calculator will be able to tell you that. We also have a design preferences for all your design orders. So I, now, I know right now uh, many of you are cutting and pasting the same instructions over and over again. Uh, this way, you'll be able to put it in this field, and it will show up on every single one of your orders. Now, if you need something special, um, for an individual album, you can put that here. So once you've ordered your design, uh, we did a little uh, things a little differently for design. We actually have the upload take place after the purchase because those do take a little longer than spreads, and we do not want you to have to wait before purchasing. Same thing here. So another thing we do just to confirm that you've uploaded is we actually show the file names so you can compare with your folder to make sure that all of them have gone through. We give you an, also give you a count. You have five images uploaded. And we have a choice where you can make 
a specific image to cover. Um, if you do not have a cover image, you don't have to select that. Once you submit, you'll see your order confirmation and an email, and it will show up in your order history. Check on that for details. Okay. Next, we will go over accessories. So accessories, uh, we're introducing some new uh, materials and colors. So we have swatches that can be ordered, same same style ordering, order reference, quantity, checkout. Uh, we also have a calibration print. At no cost to you, if you want to make sure your color is correct with your monitor, you can go ahead and order one of these. And let, let me just go over order history one more time. Uh, you'll be able to sort by last three months, all the orders from 2006 to 2015. Um, again, you can search by order reference or order ID. Show up there. It's very handy. Um, so yeah, does anybody have any questions?